Cyberbullying or cyber harassment is a form of bullying or harassment using electronic means. Cyberbullying and cyber harassment are also known as online bullying. It has become increasingly common, especially among teenagers, as the digital sphere has expanded and technology has advanced. The reasons for cyberbullying are based on appearance, academic achievement, race, sexuality, financial status, religion and others. Cyberbullying can cause low self-esteem, dropping brains, depression, I'm Iris. I'm Bianca. Hi, I am Eliza Cuevas. I'm No, I haven't. Bullying? No, ever since hindi pa ako nakaranas na bully through cyberbullying. Yes, I've been bullied. Also, a yes for cyberbullying. It was way back 2018. I got bullied for posting myself online. I can say it cost me almost everything. But the main point is about my self-confidence. My old bubbly and confident self turned slowly to a shy type and quiet person online. In short, my self-confidence was gone. I kept myself silent for like two years. I tried to avoid and get connection to people online. Also for posting anything related to me. It was very traumatizing. Like for real. Yes, it's already over. The two years of keeping myself silent. I tried blocking and simply cutting ties or connection with those people who made me feel like I'm not allowed to do anything I want for myself. And starting this year, 2021, I found myself becoming confident again, just like before. And one time, when I posted photos online, people kept on complimenting me and without judgment, which is a big help to gain my confidence back. For me, when harassment and intimidation take place online, it's called cyberbullying. This kind of bullying can be especially hard to deal with since it can be difficult to control and it's visible to a large number of people around you online. Just like what I said, it can be difficult or hard to deal with because other than sending threats or receiving some intentionally hurtful text messages, those bullies can be anonymous. Cyberbullying naman, ayun yung mga, pwede rin siya sa mga post post sa mga FFB, something basta sa social media. And parang akong gustong i-share kasi yung friend ko kasi nakarana siya ng cyberbullying through Facebook. Ang judge siya kanya na isang tao na hindi naman talaga siya kilala, yung totoong pagkataon, yung totoong nangyayari sa buhay niya. And yung ginudge talaga siya na sobrang over the belt talaga. And ayun, nang dahil dun sa sinabi nung taong yon sobra siya na-epektohan na palagi siyang umiiyak gabi-gabi dahil grabe talaga yung pang-judge siya kanya and which is hindi maganda yung epekt, naging epekto sa kanya ng cyberbullying. Parang sa akin, ayun yung 
mag-target mo sa isang tao, not physically but emotionally and mentally. Kasi 'di ba, two way yung bullying. Merong physical tsaka meron namang hindi. Yung sa physical, yun yung for example sa school yung nararambulan na, nagsusuntukan, nagsasampalan, sabon at then ganun yung physical. Meron din like ng bullying na verbal or yung pagpaparinig, uh, pamamahiya. Itong cyberbullying, I think yun yun, yung hindi verbal na bullying. Kasi, diba, cyber in which through online or internet, obviously, hindi naman tayo makakapanako physically through online or through our social media. Kaya, I think, sa akin, mas malalain mentally kaya emotionally. Kasi, kasi diba, kapag nanakit ka physically, kung nagkasugat ka man, agua bendita, alcohol, betadine, band aid, okay na. Magaling na yung sugat mo. Pero, pag ganito na emotionally or mentally ka tinarget ng isang tao, ang hirap siyang lunasan. Kung baga, wala namang ginawang band aid para dito. For me, cyberbullying is a form of hurts that using hurtful words, sometimes it really hurts. For me, cyberbullying is the one of the reasons why some people are stressed. Based on what I've seen everywhere on the internet, cyberbullying is a contagious digital disease that can spread like wildfire across all races, nations, and ages. It is the type of a disease that, if it's not dealt with properly, it could be fatal to a person. hope sila doon. Walang bawasan yung time ng pagsosocial media nila. Although ngayong panahon, hindi na talaga may iwasan yun kasi alas lahat na ng ginagawa natin mapaskool or even work kung may work no, online na. So hindi talaga natin may iwasan na hindi gumamit ng social media kasi yun na lang yung only way na possible para makapag-community tayo sa iba. Well, para sa akin, kung kagamit ka naman ng social media, proper way, yung talagang kapaki-pakilabang, hindi yung sasayangin mo yung oras mo. Siguro, forget about it. Pakalimutan mo yung mga nangyari. If ever na nabulit ka, or through cyberbullying, kalimutan mo siya, and then, pabasan niyo sa social media. I think, kapag ang isang tao nakaranas ng cyberbullying, matatroma na siya, at iiwasan na niyang makihalubilo sa iba, di ba? Kasi parang hihiyan siya kasi nagkaroon ng ganitong problema or something. Also, yung pagtuunan mo na lang yung mga pansin, yung mga bagay na mas importante. Because I have not experienced bullying or being bullied, all I can say to those who experience it, don't let a day without you telling your teachers or the principal of your school or to your parents. Because when you don't pay attention to what the bully did to you, what is being done to you will happen again. I think you need to tell your problem to your parents or friends to make you feel better. I think everyone who knows and uses the internet need to keep in mind that, that the internet is a very dangerous, deceiving, and tempting place to be. A person shouldn't believe in everything they see on it. A person should not take every single thing that they see about them by heart, or else a black hole inside of them will eat them up internally and externally, leading them to their death. Para naman sa mga tao nakakaranas ng bullying or ng cyberbullying, kailangan mong magpakatatag para sa sarili mo. Kailangan mong malagpasan yan. Magpray ka lang. Dahil mapapagod din ang mga taong gumagawa sa iyo niyan. And palagi kang mag-isip ng mga positive. Hayaan mo lang sila, huwag kang magpa-apekto. Alam kong mahirap, pero alam ko rin nakakayanin niyo.